Let's talk about a few things. I've heard that Germany is trying to pass a law to make men sit down when they pee. As disgusting as that is, that's for another time. I want to talk about this thing. Many people don't like Garrett Wilders. They have a lot of bad things to say because he, they act like he's so anti-Islam, which he is, but it's not a bad thing. The European Union has no freedom of speech whatsoever. Just this week, the District Attorney of Holland has decided to go and prosecute 14 young men for leaving comments on a Garrett Wilders site with a uh, so-called hate speech. What kind of world are we living in now where internet commentary actually means something? <laughs> Think about it, folks. How many times have you cursed somebody out on the internet or said something stupid without thinking on the internet? Now they want to prosecute you for that. That is the world that we live in now. It's time to start thinking like that. It's time to start putting your brains outside of the box because you're going to get eaten up inside of the box if you don't step outside of it. The world is becoming a joke. It's a world run by psychopaths. You can see it for yourselves. You don't have to take my word for it. Just look at the world. Look how women are getting treated. Look how men are getting treated. Look at the biased. A lot of people think that, okay, women are being treated biasly against men. But do you understand that there's a motive behind that? There's a reason why these women are getting treated better than men are? It's not just by accident. It's not like the feminists came out and started crying and hissy-fitting and wanting laws changed so they just changed them. They did it for benefits. And once you understand what the benefits are, then you understand why women are going down this road. And it's not even women that are doing it. It's the government themselves. The women are just being tricked, brainwashed, used by the government. So while I think they are so smart and clever, these females, they're just being used. Used against men. Do you believe that the bias against men is just by accident? Do you think that it's just random? Do you think that just because the feminists came in and started whining and complaining they got their way? Or could there be an entire ideology behind it? Think about it. You all forget <laughs> that it's not just the feminist. The homosexual movement is involved with it as well, as well as the Islamic movement. So you have three fronts to this battle. The feminist, Islam, and the homosexuals. They are all the ones that are fighting against family, marriage, and having children and being prosperous. Well, all of those goals have one goal in mind at the end. You see, it's all about eugenics, killing off people. That's no secret. If you kill off the family life, you kind of kill off having respawn children spawn later on. Look at Japan, for example. Look at the, the drop rate in people there. It's incredible. Most people there are either elderly or grown up. There's not many children around there. The world never understands that you can look at under country, other countries to see what the leaders are doing. For example, uh, Europe had the thing with Greece, but it wasn't just Greece. After it was Spain and Ireland as well. But it's going to happen to all the countries if we all start standing up for ourselves. Look at Scotland. Look at uh, 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 Iceland, for example. When they tried it there, they actually got the, they actually locked up those bankers who tried to pull it there in their country. Point being is, they're trying it with every country. So you can all be mad constantly at each other. Or you can stop being mad at your government. Because they have a plan. They have an ideology. And they are following it. And that ideology happens to match what the Bible says about it. So you have their ideology, and you have the Bible who tells you about their ideology. As a matter of fact, if you want to know what their ideology is, read the Bible. You don't have to sit there and think, oh, God is real, God is not real, whatever. I'm telling you, it is, an, it is a manual to their ideology. How come I can always tell you things that are going to happen and they do end up happening? I mean, <laughs> this is not a coincidence, folks. You know, just two weeks ago, I told my friend, I hope New York City doesn't get hit by another snowstorm. And bam, here's the snowstorm again. Because I understand what's really going on. And I know you won't believe me if I tell you. Because you don't want to hear it.
But when I tell you it's straight to your face, you're like, psst, conspiracy theorist. There's no conspiracy. To deny it is more of a conspiracy than it is to believe in it. Because the results are right in front of your face. So if you don't believe the so-called conspiracy, you should be able to believe the evidence that is standing right in front of your face. That is actually waving in your face. So if truth and evidence are conspiracy, then what is the normality? Because if you're going to say that everything that is truthful and has evidence shown to back it up, that that is a conspiracy, then what is what we go through every daily life? What is it that we go through every single day? Think about this, folks. Because everything that is backed up by truth and evidence, you're calling conspiracy nowadays. You're calling truth, lies, and lies you're calling truth. And I hate to tell you this, but your government went out and decided to get rid of fathers from the household, not the women. They enticed the women with money. They enticed the women by seduction. It was literally the snake talking to Eve again. Eve eating the apple 2.0. Women are actually paid money. If they got rid of a man in the household, they would actually make more money. Do you understand that? The government offered women more money if they got rid of the man in the household. Why would the government do that? Stop and ask yourself why. This is proven fact. Why is the man so hated? Because the man is the protector. And whether you like to believe it or not, your opinion doesn't really matter because it's still happening. It is the truth. It is what's happening out there today. Why are offspring being killed? Why are men being evicted from the home? Why are men thrown into prisons? Do you think that's all just by coincidence? Why is the legal system so hatred, hateful towards men? All the fronts, once again, have all their military lined up against men. It's not just the feminism front. There's the governmental front as well. There's the child support front, the alimony support front. There's all these different tiny fronts. And they're all facing towards men. And it's not women that are sitting in the cannons ready to blow men to hell, even though it looks like that. It is actually the government. If you were to take the common denominator from all the issues between men and women, you will see that it's government, be it divorce court, lawyers, um, just name it, you know, and, and if you really look, you'll see that almost all the elements out there do fit to being biased against men. So why is it so many things are turned against men? Why? If there's not an ideology out there right now to destroy men, to conquer over men, and to take the women away from us, then what is going on? Do you really believe that females are just evil for no reason? So narcissistic for no reason? They are being trained and brainwashed into this behavior. I heard women say they compete to keep up with other women. So if they compete with other women, that means that they're also competing with the men. They need to have a strong, masculine, muscular man so she can go show them off to her female friends. If she stopped playing the game of having to show off and just being grateful for what she has, <laughs> Show me one woman out there who's grateful for what she has. There is no woman out there. Because they all play that game. So what game is it? Who made the game? Think about this. I am telling you, it is an ideology used against men. Who is the victims in this? Men are. But who are the conquerors in this? Government, not females. As a matter of fact, you could almost say that females are victims in this as well. But they're, they're gaining so much from it. It's basically like this prostitution, basically. They're prostituting themselves out to the government for their own selfish benefits. And it's hurting men. But it's also hurting them. Because it'll also hurt our next generations to come if we don't put a stop to it. This is War Dumps Fire. Take care, all. See you later.